you get home and your haircut just doesn't seem right. And that's probably because you have a bad haircut and the haircut itself is uneven. So how do you fix uneven layers? It's pretty simple, but there's a few things that I want to go over and take into consideration. So here's a haircut and I just literally just chomped into some pieces right into here to show you uh, the different variations. So if you ever come home and you comb your hair up and do it when it's dry, if you comb your hair up and you see a bunch of different hair lengths, it's obviously uneven and that could really, really affect the entire haircut because you're not getting that proper flow. So what you need to do is first of all, how bad or how short are those pieces, right? If, if you want to have longer layers and you want to have your hair like this on top, but you got some short pieces down here, then you're gonna have to let do some growing, okay? Unfortunately, you're gonna have to really just balance this out here by trimming it, and there's not much else you can do because if it's too short, it's too short. So you're gonna have to let it grow. However, if they didn't cut it evenly and left a lot of hair too long, then that is where you're really gonna have a much easier time. So what you need to do is comb the hair straight up. I suggest and strongly suggest using a comb, and I do sell these combs in white and red. These are the combs that I use as a professional stylist, so I suggest them to anybody to use. Go with a white comb and use the fine teeth because you're really gonna be able to keep the hair more, uh, a little bit tighter and more taut together. So you're gonna hold it straight up. You're gonna lock those fingers in. So the minute you comb the hair from the base, you're gonna follow with your fingers, lock the fingers in, comb straight up, and what you're gonna do is look for the shortest layer, right, the shortest piece. Again, this is only if you're, you are okay and you wanted your hair a bit shorter on top or it's too heavy or it's not flowing right. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna take the shears and you're gonna cut straight across like so to then even it out. Next, what you're going to do is take a section of hair right in front of that and you can do that with the Y teeth switch back to the fine teeth, comb straight up, and now you're really gonna see some uneven bits. Find the, what we call the guide, right? The hair that was previously cut in that last section, and that's what you're cutting to. You can see it's perfectly even now. You're gonna let some of that go, leave the past behind, leave some of that section that you just cut out, use the Y teeth. Now we're taking the fine teeth again, and we're combing straight up. The reason that we're taking only part of that section is because you don't want the hair so thick that you can't see where you need to cut. That's why we're doing that and we call that the guide. So you're using that guide to work your way forward all the way throughout the top of the head. And I like to start on the top simply because it's going to give you a really accurate, accurate section and you're focused in, you're not gonna get confused on where you should be cutting. <clears throat> so I always like to start right down the middle and you're combing it straight up and then as we get to the very, very front, there you can see there's gonna be less hair, hopefully, as you get to the front, okay? So now we have the entire top section. This entire top section here is even, very, very even. And what you do is you can simply go back Take a section to go right down the middle and comb it up. And you're, now what's gonna happen is you are gonna see pieces on the corner that are gonna be longer. Now that's, a whole, that's what we're gonna talk about next, but right down that middle you see everything is now even. So you've got the top of the head right here, then you've got the corners right into here, and then the sides. So the top, the corners, and the sides. The corner is where the head rounds out. So you do have to take that into consideration because that's still part of the haircut. So let's go back to where we first started. And now, instead of combing the hair straight up, we're gonna follow the way the hair grows out of the head and we're gonna comb this way. And what you're going to do is you're going to, again, you're combing and you're cutting straight up. It's just your finger angle is different. And what you're doing is you're just following the head shape, like that. And you're connecting the top into the corner, which then leads into the sides. And again, this is really purely if you feel your haircut is unbalanced 
if you are looking for a nice flowing layer type look, this is gonna be the solution. Your stylist should be doing this to begin with, I hate to say. All right, so now we're at the sides, right in through here, as you can see. And what you wanna do is you wanna just cut this. You don't wanna cut the bottom. You wanna cut what lays over the bottom because that is the foundation or the length of the haircut. If you cut too deep into the bottom, you're gonna create some holes and you're gonna actually ruin the haircut and uh, lose some of that length, which is something you don't wanna do, all right? So what I'm going to do is comb it, use the wide teeth, then I'm gonna switch to the fine teeth. I'm combing the hair straight out, as you can see. There's the very, very bottom right there, so we're gonna cut right on top of that bottom and let that all drop down. And literally, what you're doing is you're connecting the top the corners and the very, very sides, just like this. Now, depending on the length of the hair, that really plays an important part of the entire shape because if you want your hair longer, obviously you're going to change your hand positioning. This is getting a bit advanced <laughs> and I wanted to keep this pretty simple for you because this is if something happened at the salon where, or the barber shop even, the professional, you know, messed your hair up and left your layers uneven. And this could be either very extreme situations, right? It could be where it's like so uneven or it could be just slightly uneven or it's not that it's uneven, it's just too long on top. Sometimes maybe the person, the professional didn't cut it enough, right? And that could be an important factor. You're just like, you know what? It's too long on top. I need, I need to get more volume, and this is gonna be a great solution. You just wanna make sure that, you know, when you're doing these things at home, realize that it, it is a risk. I will say, it is a risk because you can, you know, accidentally mess up the entire haircut, then you're left with a whole new slew of problems. But if you follow this, this kind of workflow, where it's straight up, the corners, the sides, even if you're just checking the top, to make sure that the top is even. It's really, really gonna help you uh, with the haircut and also the flow. These shears that I, I'm using right now, these are my shears, right? I do sell these on my website. They are, they're, they're what I use. I mean, honestly, so you don't have to be professional to use them but this is what I use. So if you are interested in purchasing them, they are available on my website and the combs as well as a variety of other styling products. So what's, what's gonna happen now is as you can see, even though the hair obviously is still long, but when you turn the head upside down like this, you can see now it's much more even right in through here. So looks like we're even Steven for today, <laughs> which is a good thing. I have so many videos close to 2,000 tutorials on YouTube. Um, and I guarantee you, if you browse the channel, search something in, you will find exactly what you're looking for.